Long time no see. How have you been? Well, my mom, who I haven't spoken to in a long time, and my husband came to my dad's funeral. You've got a lot of nerve coming here after everything you've done. I said to her sarcastically. She didn't react at all to my comment. Well, it's my husband's funeral. Of course I'm going to be here. I came for the inheritance, she said. I couldn't stop laughing at what she said. I'm afraid there's no inheritance for you, though, I told her. My name is Kate, and I'm a 32-year-old office worker. I've been married to my husband Jacob for two years. We first got to know each other at work because we were both in charge of the same client. As we met more often, we became closer and eventually he confessed his feelings to me. That's when we officially started dating. At first, I was hesitant to go out with him because he is six years younger than me. Are you sure you want an old lady like me as your girlfriend? I asked him. He looked straight into my eyes and said, I don't care about age. I love you, Kate. I was touched by his straightforward words and fell for him. Our relationship progressed smoothly from there, and he eventually proposed to me. We immediately went to meet his parents. They were very kind and welcomed me with open arms. They were cheerful and positive, just like Jacob, and I liked them right away. Next, we visited my family home, and I introduced him to my parents. Oh, he's such a young boy. But he's very polite and pleasant, isn't he? My parents liked him immediately. Jacob also said, Your parents are very kind. They're great. He had a positive attitude about my parents, and we got married without any issues. After getting married, we both continued working and shared the house chores. Kate, your cooking is really delicious, he often said. Really? That makes me happy. Did your mother teach you how to cook? No, I learned it myself. My mom isn't much of a cook. She was more particular about things like salads and oils. Oh, really? So she's a health guru, huh? Well, she used to be a model. What, really? Did I forget to mention that? She was a teen model from high school until she was about 19. Then, at 19, she got pregnant and married my dad. She took a break from modeling for a while. But once I started elementary school, she went back to modeling and did it for about 10 years. Well, I had no idea. I always thought she was very beautiful, but now it makes sense if she was a model. You should tell her yourself next time. I'm sure she'd love to hear it. Okay, let's plan to visit your parents' house next time. Sounds good. Let's do it on our next day off. My husband always made an effort to visit my parents, which I really appreciated. Thanks to him, I can see my parents regularly. Our marriage was going well in that respect. However, something terrible happened. My dad was in an accident and has been in a wheelchair since then. Kate, can you come again today? I have a caregiver during the day, but it's tough taking care of him all alone at night. I understand. Sure, I'll come over after work. I was really worried about my dad, and honestly, I was concerned about leaving my mom, who isn't great with housework, to handle everything on her own. I told my husband I would go help after work. To my surprise, he offered to pick me up and go with me to my parents' house. Thank you, Jacob. You're a lifesaver. Don't mention it. Your parents need us right now, so we'll be there. At that moment, I felt like my husband was an angel sent from above. Ah, Kate, I'm glad you're here. And thank you so much for coming, Jacob. I'm sorry for the trouble. No problem at all. Please don't worry about it. Where's dad? He's sleeping in his room right now, but I think he'll need to use the bathroom soon. Okay, I'll go check on him. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do to help? Oh, there are some heavy things I need help carrying. Ever since my husband started using his wheelchair, there's been no one here to lift heavy stuff. Oh, I understand. That makes sense. I'll take care of it. My husband was happy to help my mom with her request. I was really glad he came along. Dad, you're awake. Thanks for coming, Kate. I heard your voices and woke up. I see. Do you need to use the restroom? I can help you get there. Oh, I think I'll take you up on that. I'm really sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I was able to go to college because of you. It's my turn to help you now. Thank you, Kate. After taking care of Dad, my husband and I went back home together. When we arrived, my husband had something to suggest. Hey, how do you feel about us moving in with your parents? What? Well, honestly, it must be difficult for your mom and dad to live alone in their current situation. Yeah, but are you okay with that? They aren't your parents, you know. Won't you feel stressed? Not at all. Your parents are really kind, so I have no problem living with them. Jacob, I was deeply grateful for my husband's suggestion. Truthfully, I have been thinking the same thing. 
there's a 15-year age gap between my mom and dad. Dad was a CEO and met mom at a party for wealthy people. He fell in love with her beauty at first sight, and that's how our family began. They married when mom became pregnant with me. Since mom isn't good at housework, her mother and my grandmother often came over to cook and clean for us. I remember watching my grandmother cook when I was little. Mom had a unique view. She believed that as long as she was beautiful, she didn't need to do anything else, so she rarely did housework. I started living on my own when I went to university, so I learned how to do housework and cook. I can manage most things by myself, but mom wasn't able to do much, so she struggled to take care of dad alone. That's why I wanted to be there for dad and support him as much as possible. There's another reason why I want us to live together. What? What is it? Actually, I'm pregnant. Wait, really? Yeah. Seriously, I'm going to be a dad. That's right. In that case, it makes even more sense to live at your parents' house. I think you're right. I'll call my mom right away. When I talked to my mom, she thought it would be a big help and agreed to let us move in. So my husband and I moved into my parents' house and started living together there. I decided to focus on being a full-time homemaker while taking care of my dad at home. I prepared well for the birth of our baby. If anything came up, my mom would take me to the hospital, and even though she couldn't cook much, she would buy whatever I needed from the store. That alone was a huge help, and it was comforting to be back home. My husband seemed to get along well with my parents. He would talk to my dad about his health, and have enjoyable conversations with my mom. Seeing this, I felt reassured that marrying him was the right decision. Jacob, could you come with me to the store? There seemed to be cheaper ingredients at a supermarket a bit further away today, so I thought we could drive there. Sure, I'll take care of it. My husband and mom bonded like they were truly family, often going shopping together on weekends. As my belly grew with the baby, it became harder for me to go out so I was grateful they took the initiative to handle the shopping. Time passed, and I gave birth to our baby without complications, a healthy baby boy. Our family was overjoyed and celebrated the birth of our son with us. Since we have a boy, he might be able to take over my dad's company in the future, I thought. I was looking forward to a lively and even more enjoyable life with my family. That's what I thought, but soon I would face an unbelievable situation. It happened on a day when I was planning to take my son shopping for baby items. The store I wanted to visit was a bit far from home, so I decided to drive there myself. Instead of explaining what I needed to my husband and risking him getting the wrong things, I thought it would be faster if I went alone. So I asked my husband to stay with my dad and set off for the store. However, about 10 minutes into my drive, I realized I had forgotten my wallet. I hurriedly turned the car around and headed back home. As I was about to go upstairs to retrieve my wallet from my room, I heard a strange noise coming from my mom's room. Currently my dad, who uses a wheelchair, stays in a room on the first floor of my parents' house, while my husband, mom, and I have our rooms upstairs on the second floor. On this particular day, neither my husband nor my mom were in the living room on the first floor. I had a sinking feeling something was wrong. Quietly, I approached my mom's room. I heard a creaking noise and heavy breathing, and I instantly knew what was happening. I started recording on my phone and cautiously opened the door. What are you both doing? Whoa. Ah. Both my mom and my husband were surprised, caught naked in bed together. They hurriedly began dressing. What is this? Are you having an affair? When I confronted them, they were shameless. Yes, we are. But well, it can't be helped. Jacob prefers me, after all, my mom said. Sorry, Kate, your mother is just more attractive, my husband added. Excuse me? It seems my husband has a preference for older women, which he didn't mind when we were dating. In fact, he found the age gap appealing. Do you think this can be forgiven? Well, it is what it is. Whether we're forgiven or not doesn't concern us. We're going to move out and be together. So you're saying we're getting divorced? Yes, that's right. Then I'll prepare the divorce papers immediately. I remained surprisingly calm as we continued the conversation. I knew I had to stay strong for my dad, who needed care, and my newborn son. So mom, you're divorcing dad, right? I'll bring the divorce papers for you too. To my surprise, my mom made a shocking statement. I'm not getting a divorce. What? I'm not divorcing your dad, but I am leaving this house. Wait, what? This isn't something to joke about. 
I'm serious. I'm not leaving until I get my fair share of the assets in this house. That's right. Not until your dad passes away. What are you saying? I'm not leaving until I secure his inheritance. I was stunned. My mom was refusing to divorce my dad so she could ensure she received his inheritance. If they divorced, she'd only get a portion of it. How could you? I said my fists clenched in anger as I stared at my mom. I'm just choosing what benefits me the most. Age doesn't matter to me. I'll take all the money I can get and find someone younger and better, she replied, completely callous. Jacob, I'm divorcing you, no matter what. Yeah, sure, but depending on the circumstances, I might refuse. What? What circumstances? That you or your dad agree to your mom's condition of not divorcing your dad. What? Since it's you, Kate, you might find a way to make this work right. So if we're getting divorced, I want you to promise that your mom and dad stay married. You must be joking. I can't agree to those terms. Then I won't divorce either, and I won't pay child support. You can't do that. Well, what will you choose? My husband and mom looked smugly satisfied. Regardless, I knew I had to talk to my dad about this. I couldn't make a decision without considering his feelings, so I rushed down to the first floor. It seemed my dad was awake and had overheard everything. Kate, don't worry about me. Go ahead and divorce him. But, Dad, that means you and Mom. Don't worry about me. You need to divorce that man right away, my dad said, looking directly into my eyes. He must have had a plan of his own. With that in mind, I decided to follow my dad's advice and agree to the terms my husband proposed for the divorce. My husband and my mother laughed mockingly and said, Let us know when Dad dies, okay? Then they left. I was consumed with anger, feeling like I was losing my mind. It was my dad who was truly suffering. I'm sorry, Dad. Jacob did something unforgivable. Don't worry about it. They'll soon face their own reckoning. At first, I didn't fully grasp what my dad meant, but after he explained it, I understood his plan to ensure my mom and Jacob faced consequences for their actions. From then on, I decided to focus on living my life without being weighed down by them. I hired a helper during the day and resumed working. My son grew up healthy, and I became more adept at caring for my dad. He cherished spending time with his grandchild, and I hoped my son would inherit his kindness. Time passed swiftly. Three years flew by in the blink of an eye. Recently, my dad's health declined, and he had to be hospitalized. Sadly, his health didn't improve, and he passed away. I had mentally prepared for this moment, so I was surprisingly calm as I immediately began organizing his funeral. My dad was dearly loved, and many people attended his funeral. However, among the attendees, I came face to face with the last people I wanted to see. A long time no see. How have you been? I arrived as I said I would, only to find my mom and my ex-husband standing there. What are you doing here? I came to fulfill my promise. They had both come to my dad's funeral. How dare you show your faces here after what you've done? Kate, attraction between men and women is often instinctual, so it's beyond reason. Those drawn to each other can't always help it. She didn't seem phased by my sarcastic remarks. Then why are you at my dad's funeral? You could have stayed with him alone. Well, it's my husband's funeral, so it's only natural to attend. And as I mentioned before, I have a promise to fulfill. I'm here to claim my inheritance. Now tell me how much I'm getting. I couldn't help but laugh at my mom's boldness. I'm sorry, but there's no inheritance for you. What? What do you mean? She's entitled to a share of the estate. I'm sorry, but my mom and dad are already divorced. What? I never agreed to a divorce. Have you forgotten that you once handed my dad divorce papers? He kept them for a moment like this. After you both left, my dad filed for divorce. You're no longer married to my dad, which means you're not entitled to his inheritance. As I said this, the color drained from my mom and ex-husband's faces. No, you're lying. That can't be. Now that you understand, could you please leave? You understand the situation, right? Many people who respected my dad began to gather around us. They all condemned the two who had betrayed and hurt my dad. Realizing the gravity of the situation, my mom and ex-husband promptly left the funeral. According to reports, they were living a lavish lifestyle that far exceeded my ex-husband's income. It appears they even depleted my mom's savings, resorted to taking out loans, and were in dire financial straits when they learned of my dad's passing. They had hoped to use his inheritance to clear their debts, but their hopes were dashed when they received nothing. Now, their whereabouts are unknown, and I had chosen not to concern myself with it. 
On the other hand, I took on a role at my dad's company a few years back and eventually became the CEO before his passing. Now, I'm dedicated to safeguarding his legacy as CEO while also raising my cherished son. I envision him possibly taking over the company one day. But if he pursues other aspirations, I'll wholeheartedly support his dreams. For now, I cherish watching my young and adorable son grow. Narrator's Comment Cheating with your wife's mother, that's about as low as it gets, isn't it? Even if someone has a preference for older partners, that's truly unforgivable. Kate's mother also displays the worst kind of behavior. Perhaps those at the lowest moral levels are naturally drawn to each other, but it's satisfying to see that their actions led them into financial ruin. Kate should continue excelling as CEO and enjoy happy days with her son.